Yo, what is good? Clutch Gaming back in the building with another banger. But today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we will be reacting to highlights from players from the past. This is going to be a whole new series that I'm going to be doing. But we're going to be not even really players from the past. We're just going to be reacting to anything NBA related. So if y'all got videos that y'all want me to see, go ahead and comment that down below. Send me the link or tell me a title to look up and I'm going to look it up. And y'all going to be seeing me react, that, react to that on this channel. So today... As an Ace Town head, we starting off with Hakeem, the Dream, Olajuwon. We all know how great Hakeem Olajuwon is, but a lot—I feel like a lot of people, especially who's like 18 or younger, I'm—I'm I'm older than 18, so don't come at me. I, I remember Hakeem Olajuwon. I was alive when he was playing. Okay, I'm from Houston. I remember him. I went to the same high school. I mean, I went to the same college as Hakeem Olajuwon. So I know about Fossil and Jamma, all that shit. But this is more so for the viewers, for the young viewers who don't really know. You know what I'm saying? How good this man was, how versatile this man was. In my opinion, he's the most versatile center in NBA history, probably behind Will Chamberlain. But uh, even then, you can make that argument. So we really just going to get into it, man. If you're new to the channel, like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications because we're going to be bringing heat nonstop. We also got some more 2K videos coming. We're doing. We going to start doing career playthroughs. For example, what if Carmelo Anthony played for the Pistons for his entire career? We gonna be doing that. We gonna be doing different, just different little ideas and little stuff like that. So y'all ain't gonna wanna miss out on that. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, man. We about to get into it. Shit, heck, cricket in the morning, falling off and all that. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. It's it's amazing how underrated he is. He, <clears throat> to me, and I might look be at your boy. I play was the best center of all time. Hold on, real quick, real quick. I used to see Robert Horry all the time at the gym that I used to go to. It's out here in um, in uh, in Houston. It's a 24 hour fitness. I ain't gonna say the location. Kind of want people to try to plot on me, try to come find me and shit. But I used to see him with his son all the time in their practices. That dude is big as hell. He about a, he is solid 16, bro. And uh, it's just weird seeing a dude right in front of you that won seven NBA championships just playing with his son like it ain't shit. But this was some years ago, so but still shout out Robert Horry, man, legendary, legendary all-time shot blocker and out of every big man that's ever played the game he could shoot free throws yeah <laughs> he could shoot from the outside that's true he could guard guards that's He's true that's to me and you go back and you look at the things he used to do on the court let's ask david robinson he'll tell you it's <laughs> really the best you know no disrespect yeah. to all those other guys you know i know a lot of times people are measured by wins and championships like bill russell but chamber the dream was just flat out the best mm -hmm. yeah the dream was my favorite because personal reasons and the reason was he was a guy that I couldn't break a king to me is is number one that's 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 some serious with Shaq say that man that's some serious with Shaq say that I don't even like Shaq like that I think he's overrated but I, I respect and his daughter Tracy select Hakeem Olajuwon Hakeem that was before his name was Hakeem Hakeem Pick the most. You know you good when they pick you over Jordan, and nobody says it was a bad pick. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that had to be '86 right here when he was in the uh, Western Conference Finals, maybe. Look at that double team by Mikael Lambert, then dunked on Paris. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah. But Sean Bradley ain't holding him. Come on, bro. He too stiff. He too stiff. Damn, they making this music seem like the old boy died. Damn. Turn around, fade away. That was actually a, a pretty decent contest, but... Oh! Get this shit out of here. Post spin, dunk on the other side, and the foul probably. Mason David Robinson. Post hook. He did have every, every, every offensive move you could have in the post. He really did. Mm. Ooh, the fadeaway. Falling away. Mm. Can't do nothing with him. On top of Barkley right there. Nigeria. That's a hell of a journey, bro. 
that's a hell of a journey to go from fucking Nigeria. No disrespect. I know Nigeria has like modern shit and everything like that. But to go from Nigeria to being the number one pick in the NBA draft is kind of fucking wild, bro. There you go. With my I'm a model right there. They got pictures of him all in that damn building, bro. In the um, in the basketball arena. They got his name on the wall. They got Elvin Hayes' name on the wall. They got Clyde Drexler's name on the wall. Legendary, bro. R.I.P. David Stern. MVP season. Yeah, that's when they lost to uh, NC State at the buzzer, I believe. That was... Oh, that's heartbreaking, bro. Imagine losing the national championship at the buzzer, bro. That's that's crazy. Mm. Mm. He can give it to you any way you want it. Any way you want it. On the oh, that was Clyde Drake's on the break. Mm. That boy had the baby, bro. Any way you want it. Look at that. Look, where you going, David Robinson? Good. Where you going, bro? Face up. Jab step. Fake. With a straight face, but I thought it. Most of the time, I defended him pretty well. He right though. When he say he defended him well, that's about as good as you're going to defend a prime Hakeem Olajuwon, bro. Because you have to realize this dude. It, it, he was unpredictable. You didn't know where he was gonna go. So I mean. It's only so much you can do when you don't know what the person's going to do. And they have a bag that's deep as hell. So it just wasn't nothing they could, he can do. And plus, he was motivated because they gave David Robinson the MVP before that series. Hakeem made that, that a mission. He said, I'm coming for you, bro. I'm coming for you. Played, I mean, as well as I've seen anybody play in a long time. Look at this. Crossover. Pump fake. Oof. Oof. What you gonna do with that? Who's gonna stop that now, bro? Who, who's gonna guard that now? Look at what he's doing to Terry Cummins. He made a layup on Terry Cummins without even looking. Crossover. What big got a crossover face up like that, bro? Quick. And he ripped the old boy, took the ball on the break, and took it straight to the rim. Over the point guard. Oh, the putback. Hit him with another cross. Dream shape. He just had complete control of the ball, too. He put it right exactly where he wanted it to. Contest don't matter. Serving up Patrick Ewing. Fade away in the grill. Money. Rudy T. will go to Akeem Olajuwon, whose stunning run of playoff brilliance has elevated him beyond all-star or even MVP status and into the ranks of the very greatest who have All ever time. played the game. That shit still hangs man, today. I think it's the highest level. I can't thank you enough for all the support you've shown me through the years. And God willing, I think we can taste another championship in this city. We still ain't got another one, bro. We need one, bro. Hopefully, Jalen Green to answer, but. Houston, you did it with poise under pressure. Oh, man. With a lot of grace and with a lot of class. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Hakeem, class act two. Dominant. You never heard him say, I mean, you never heard him say anything bad about that man. I mean, he beat Shaq in the finals. He beat Patrick Ewing in the finals. I mean, he went up against great competition. He was probably the, the most versatile big man of all time can't say that about he had, he legitimately he legitimately had no holes in his game bro none no holes free throws like 70 something percent defense elite all time elite offense he averaged like 25 a game arguably had the greatest post game ever ever and people say he's not a he, they put Shaq over him bro he beat Shaq in the finals dog he's a better shooter than Shaq better defender than Shaq better rebounder than Shaq I mean I mean I mean come on bro better I would say he's a better leader than Shaq because on that first team where in 1994 they had no other all-stars on that team his second option was Otis Thorpe and Vernon Maxwell bro Shaq's second options were shit were fucking Kobe Bryant and Dwayne Wade when he won championships this 
it's not even really close. Shaq just a, a big guy that just pushed people around. Hakeem had skill, had elite skill, bro. But yeah, that was a little quick little video, man. Comment down below what y'all think. If y'all think Shaq better than Hakeem Olajuwon, don't even comment, bro. I'm sorry. It's it. You could debate it, but it's not. It's not really close. What we actually looking at? Who's the most talented player, bro? Only I only got three centers over over Hakeem Olajuwon, bro. Three. Bill Russell, Will, and Kareem. That's it. That's it. And you could probably put. All right, I wouldn't even be mad if 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 someone put Hakeem over those people. Probably will. I don't think you could put Hakeem over Will, bro. I just don't. Cause I think Will wasn't even fucking human, so that that nigga don't even count. But Hakeem, bro, legendary player. If you're new to the channel, like the channel. I mean, like the video, sub, whatever. We keeping it coming. Push gaming out till next time. You. Yeah.